Hello! <laughs> Thanks for dropping in. I'm Amy, and this is all about my new show, Drop In With Amy, on the streaming service Moco, which is so cool. All It's all uplifting content. Uh, some of your favorite creators are there. They've got all the info below. Um, and if you already follow me on other platforms, you may already have subscribed or have checked it out, but I'm gonna share something special with you today, which of course, I'm nervous about because it's always experimental, but this is a little sneak preview of the early stages of figuring out what the show was going to be. When I was workshopping it with my husband, Nipun Nair, uh, we have Soulfire Creations production company together, and Soulfire Creations is a creator on that streaming service, Moco. So we made the series just for Moco, um, but I wanted to share with you in the interest and, and really in gratitude for those of you who've been supporting and following my work from the beginning of very experimental videos. <laughs> They're all experimental videos. But this uh, series was probably is probably the most experimental out of the box thing I've done yet. Uh, I've got plenty more to come. But when we were first trying to figure out what this was, um, we made the video that I'm gonna show next in that workshopping process. And basically, this series is a way to synthesize different practices that have been helpful for me in um, things that I've shared with you through the years of getting in touch with where am I blocked in my voice? Where am I blocked in my body? And what? how can I playfully, experimentally um, notice what that is and work with what it has to teach me so that I can transform that energy into something beneficial and be ever more present and free and me in my body and in my life. So the show is an invitation really to do these exercises with me, to make them your own. It's really a, a loose guided way that you can either completely go on my journey or completely go on your own and it can be very, very different for you. So in the beginning, basically I would turn on the camera, roll sound, and just be with what was present for me in that moment, and that would become a completely experimental experience. And then as we were workshopping it, we realized we really wanted, in the interest of having a whole season, we really wanted those episodes to be um, specific. So we did one on um, overwhelm, one on confidence, one on joy, one on anxiety. You know, we had these different topics so that you could feel into what you need in that moment and know right where to go. So that's what you'll get on Moco. It is a wonderful platform. It's one where it's only $4 a month and $1 goes to the charitable organization of your choice. You get to pick where your dollars can have that impact. And if you use the code in my, uh, in my description, then you'll be able to support us with a, a little portion of it goes also to um, Soulfire Creations as well. So thank you. And, and it's an incredible platform. The, the, uh, the artists on there are really inspiring. Definitely check it out. And I hope you enjoy this very experimental preview and then come and see what the show turned into on MoCo. Thank you so much. We are connected and I am grateful for you. This is Drop In With Amy episode six, <laughs> which is letting go. Take one. How are you doing? You ready to create our safe space? Here we go with your hands or hand or imagination, putting your authenticity into the space right from your throat, from this center, fill it up. And safety from your belly, from your gut. Mmm, fill up that space with safety and kindness. Filling up from your heart, kindness for yourself and for everyone around you and for the whole world. 
So we have our authenticity, safety, and kindness. We can ask our bodies what they want to do with this time. Mine kind of wants to jive. Why don't you get into it with me? Guess we're going to sing after all. <laughs> yeah, let's shake. Let's just wiggle. We'll shake into our moment. We'll peel off, tap off. Ugh, scrape off, slough off, blow it off. The moment that has passed, wad it up. Imagine it being wadded up. One, two, three. That is our first of letting go. Oh. Oh. Oh, notice. Let's do a little bounce. Notice if there are any places in your body that are still holding on. Some culprits tend to be the back of the neck. Is it a little bit tight? The jaw? Is it, yep, yeah, I'm good, I'm relaxed, it's totally great. Or is it able to kind of flop? <laughs> flop around, maybe the top of your ears, if you have ears. Anything holding on there? What about right here? Sometimes we just have a little pinch and we think we're, we're relaxed. You can do this little bouncy thing and see if there's any more that your shoulders can let go. Good. And then what about your spine? Just, oh yeah, reach into your spine, open things up, see if anything wants to let go. Yeah, your arms. That's a place we'll work with in a moment. Even more, your fingers, your hips, your torso, your thighs, if you have thighs, your legs and feet. I love to be barefoot. <laughs> your toes, if you have toes. One more wiggle out. Make some sound. And be still. What do you notice? Where do you feel energy flowing or vibrating? Or maybe you see it. And where do you notice it stops? Maybe it gets tight or heavy or cold somewhere. Or even maybe it heats up because it can't move. You feel it? Where do you find a spot? Pick one, just anyone. And if you're not quite sure, just let your hand move to a place and grab it. Or grab the energy around it. Yep. You out of place? Okay. So now we're gonna make that place really tight and you can make your fist really, really tight and it might go into your whole body or it might just be that one little place. And we're gonna count to three. One, two, three, and we're gonna let it go. I'm gonna lift it again. One, two, three, let it go. And one more time, as tight as it can go. One, two, three, and let it go with sound. Let the sound keep going. And see what the sound changes into when you move that part of your body. I'm gonna be quiet for a second so that you can see what sound comes out for you. Uh, whatever it is, make it bigger. Good. Couple more seconds of that movement. One more. And then just pause and notice what you notice. Maybe you'll feel, see, 
sense, smell? Is there a color of that energy where it was stuck? Mine's orange, it's still stuck. Some of it's still stuck. That's okay. Yeah, mine's orange. Do you have a color? Do you have a texture? Is it thick, thin, spotty? Mine is orange and it's kind of shiny. So whatever it is, you can call it out or just pull it out. Ask for it to come all the way out, every morsel of it, and put it either in your hands or in a box, in a little clear, completely sealed box right in front of you. Okay? When it's completely out, if you need a little help, you can imagine that there's a, a very fine golden net going all the way through your body, pulling out every single morsel, all of it, and putting it into that box. Okay? So you're completely clear of that energy and it's right there and it has a message for you. You ready to find out what it is? That message is going to tell you this energy has been trying to help you. It's been staying in there trying to help you with something. So you can just ask, energy, what is it that you're trying to help me with? You can ask in a different voice if you want or in your own voice. What is it that you're trying to help me with? And it's going to tell you, or it might show you something. Mine's gonna tell me. I wanna give you a moment. Hmm, mine says, you think you're stronger if you hold everyone's burdens for them. probably tell that called up some energy in me, some emotions in me. This energy was telling me I'm stronger if I hold everyone's burdens for them. Hmm. Wow, is that true? <laughs> energy? No! <laughs> no, it's really not. It's really not. Oh, is it for me to hold everyone else's burdens for them? No, it says. <laughs> you might be having a dialogue. You can just pause, pause me and have a dialogue with your energy. And when you're ready, you can ask your energy, is there anything that you want to tell me before we transform into the highest vibration, the highest form for my good. Okay, and you can, again, you can pause and ask. Is there anything that you want to tell me or show me before we transform? Mine says, I love you. And when your shoulders are free, you have more space to be. <laughs> When my shoulders are free, I have more space to be. Boy, that is, I'm gonna take that one and wear it all day <laughs> for the rest of my life. When my shoulders are free, I have more space to be. And you might choose, you might have something that you've received or um, found from your energy, or you can take this one too. I'm gonna, we're, and I'm going to say it one more time. If you have something to say or to share, you can say it with me. When my shoulders are free, I have more space to be. Okay. So now we can transform that energy into the highest vibrational form for me today. And what is that? Mmm. That is letting go energy. The highest form I can have is to have these reminders in my shoulders to let things roll off me. Just like if I was covered in oil and water came, it would roll right off of me. And that's gonna help me let go of everything I don't need to carry. Everything I don't need to carry. All right, do you have the form 
the ears should turn into, you can pause and, and pay some more attention to it and see what form. And when you're ready, come on back. And we're gonna transform that energy into the highest form for you right now. And mine for me right now, ready? You can hum into it and transform it. Hum. just wants to go and fill the place that you took it out of, mine wants to go all over my whole body and remind me I don't need to hold on to anything, anywhere, that is not beneficial for me. Or that it's not mine. If it's not mine, I can hold space for people, but I don't need to keep that in my body. <laughs> Spend a moment feeling it integrating with your body. Oh, and when it feels completely in there, let's pause and feel and sense and see and hear what's different about our body now. What do you notice? I feel slick, slick and shiny where only that which is beneficial for me to carry is what I'm carrying. Everything else can roll off and be taken care of. And I can still hold space to be with people who are going through something. I can hold that space absolutely and to be with myself. But I don't need to carry it because that won't help me. If I'm weighed down, it doesn't help me be there with them. That's what came through today. Share your wisdom with your friends and family. Thank you so much for dropping in with me. So much love to you. And we'll see you next time.